Hello beautiful Virgos, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Angel Love 333, hope everybody is doing fantastic, getting ready here to do your unfinished business reading, this is somebody that you feel you have unfinished business with, somebody you have some history with, whether you're talking, whether you're not talking, or there is limited communication. So we're just going to see what energy comes through here for you. Now, in uh, the description box and the comments, there will be an extended reading. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. In the extended, I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading. So it gives you some timing of what could happen or communication. And then I'll dive deeper into your person. So with that, Virgo, all right, cards are already flying out here. Let's see what the energy is here between you and the person you feel you have unfinished business with. I'm going to turn your cards over. I'm going to pull a card here. All right, so I'm definitely picking up a soulmate energy. This could be a twin flame or a soulmate. I feel like you and this person have a past together. You may even have a past life together. This crossroads tells me that there is some sort of turning point that's about to happen. I feel like this person has been somebody who has been very indecisive in the past. But now there's some sort of turning point about this person making a decision or a choice. Now, you've got here autumn, which is interesting because we are going into autumn here in the U.S. So that for some of you, this could be an, uh, a timing card for you or it could be the birthday of this person. Um, this talks about soul growth. It can talk about new intentions and it can talk about starting over. So there may be some sort of turning point here with you and this person because with this soulmate card, I feel like this is someone you and this person have a very strong spiritual connection. Okay. I'm also seeing here you have the remember, you have the light work. Okay. This tells me that this person may be going through some sort of spiritual awakening. This may be somebody who has grown through this connection. There's an inner shift here. All right. And I'm going to say some of you Virgos may be even light workers. So this may be somebody that you, this person met you. And this may have triggered some sort of change in this person. Because I'm also seeing here self-care. And this can talk about a cleansing. This could talk about this is somebody who maybe you feel has been distant with you. But this is somebody I feel who is going within right now. They're going within. They're taking care of themselves. And I feel like some of you too, this could be somebody that there is something in this person's past that they hadn't dealt with. And this can be this energy too, that this person is dealing with something from their past. Now, you know, it could be like past hurts. It could be a particular person in their past, but some sort of change is happening here where this person has a different outlook on life and a new perspective. Okay, I'm really sensing here and it may not resonate with everybody, but I feel like this is someone where definitely there has been some time and distance that maybe there has been no contact here too. This is that, that energy really strongly feels this way. Okay, now some of you there, it could just be there's a conflict here between you and this person, an argument, and this person has taken some time to themselves to think about things but I also get this energy this person's been very indecisive in the past so let's see what the energy is here with the tarot I'm going to first uh, see how are you feeling about the situation how is Virgo feeling about this situation oh 
Wow. Okay. You have a six of wands and you have judgment. In the past with this person, I feel like this person at one point was giving you a lot of attention. But I also sense here, sense that there's something that this person, I'm just going to be honest here. I feel like maybe you felt this person judged you in some sort of way. That what, that may not resonate with everybody. But I just feel like this person gave you a lot of attention in the beginning. Okay. But something went wrong here. Because you also have here justice. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. You also have here the lovers. Gemini energy. This also could tell me you feel like this person didn't treat you fairly. Some of you also may question whether there was another person involved here. That's strongly what I'm getting. That there could have been somebody from this person's past. I'm going to say this could be even, I'm just going to say with justice and judgment, some of you could have been married to this person. But others, I feel like there could be an ex here that this person was married to in the past or just be a relationship. But nonetheless, you do have the page of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you're wondering if there is still opportunity here. And I feel also to Ace of Swords, you're wondering if there's going to be communication between you and this person. Now, some of you, I feel like this could also be an indication that you could hear from this person. But I definitely strongly get a past life connection here between you and this person or twin flame. Let's see what's in your person's energy. Hmm, you're in their, your person's energy. Here's Queen of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, look at that. King of Pentacles. Look at that. King and Queen of Pentacles. You and this person, I feel, are compatible. I feel like this person sees you potentially as a partner. The two of you, it almost feels like the two of you are not speaking here because it's, it's like the two of you are, are not looking at each other there. You have the Five of Cups and you have the Star card. See, this person has regrets. This person has regrets. The Strength card here tells me that this person, um, they may have let their ego and their pride get in the way. Some of you, this could be somebody who does... You know, whether Queen or King of Pentacles could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Some of you, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Leo as well. But this person has regrets with you. And it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. And I feel like something here, this person knows that they need your forgiveness in some sort of way, but their pride and their ego has held them back is strongly what I'm getting. But they're feeling at a loss right now. We're going to clarify. Let's clarify that. Let's see. Let's get some more info on that. Tell me more about this Five of Cups. person has regrets because I feel here you got the phoenix and you also have here engagement ring. I feel like this is somebody who wasn't very committed to you in the past or couldn't offer you commitment or maybe some of you it may have been engagement or marriage. But I feel like this person regrets that because with the phoenix here this is somebody who has changed their mind. So this is somebody who has changed their mind about you and that makes sense. With this energy that I'm seeing up here, because I feel like 
There's something about this person's past that I feel held them back with you. And like I said, this person is going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Some of you, it just could be that they went through a divorce or they were going through a divorce and they were somebody who wasn't ready, indecisive. I'm even going to say too, with the Six of Wands, could be somebody who was getting a lot of attention. But I feel like this is someone who couldn't commit in the past and you do have the addiction card which tells me this is somebody who had some emotional blocks and that's what I'm feeling here up here this is someone who had to be alone to realize to realize that Let's see why the strength card is here. Tell me more about the strength card. Tell me more about the strength card. Mm. This is somebody who was not taking the connection seriously in the past, or I'm going to say there could have been another person involved here. This could be somebody, too, who wanted to be single is the energy I'm getting there. So that could be why this person wants forgiveness, because they have changed their mind. This could be somebody, you know, they may have made friends more important than you. I'm going to say the snake. It could be another person was involved in this connection, but it can also tell me that this is somebody who just uh, maybe misled you, didn't have good intentions, right? Wasn't being real and honest with you because you do have uh, the death rebirth card. I feel like things ended because of this person's choices or behavior. See, and then the next card is the teddy bear. They're still interested in you. You got blowing kiss. This is um, unconditional love. But it's also an energy of giving and receiving. And I feel like this person didn't give a whole lot. See, evolving and growing and happiness. I feel like this person realizes that you truly are somebody that they could have been in a connection or relationship here. See, and I feel like, yeah, you got the two and the three of pentacles and you have the eight of wands. So this is someone who has been going back and forth, I feel, about this connection. Now, maybe it's been an on and off thing between the two of you, but I feel like this is someone who has been trying to find their balance, get their priorities in order, because I do feel like this person wants to connect with you and they want to try and make this work. Um, I feel, too, though, with that, strength card that their ego has gotten in the way big time here and especially if this person makes a lot of money i feel too whether it's a king or queen of pentacles uh this is someone who is very well for themselves could be very well off as well or just money is you know they could be very important in this person's life but let's see what the mutual energy is between you and this person Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah. See, again, um, you do have the Two of Swords here. So I feel like right now things are at a stalemate. I don't feel like you've taken any action to reach out to this person recently. You have the death rebirth card here, and you also have here the world card. Strong Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. I feel like this person is getting ready to take that risk, that leap of faith towards you. I feel like they're feeling the pull towards you as well. Because you have the Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups. See, this person's been holding back. And 
I said here with the crossroads, I feel like there's going to be a turning point where this person makes a decision to connect with you, okay? I feel like with that Page of Cups, they're going to feel it out. They're going to feel it out because this is someone who's been holding back and I feel like this person has an ego and if you reject them, right, they don't want to feel that rejection. So that I feel like that's part of why they're holding back. Let's clarify this two of swords. Why has this person been holding back? Huh? Look at this sunglasses. So they're stalking you. They're stalking you to see what you're doing. They're trying to figure out whatever they can before they reach out. Yeah, needing time. Time to heal. This is um, cycles and takes time. Ascending, learning and expansion, a new phase. So this is somebody preparing, and that's what I was saying. This is somebody who has who has been preparing. They're holding back. I feel like, again, they've been doing some self-care. They've been thinking a lot about, um, I feel just in life in general, not just with you. I feel like this is somebody who has gone through some change, some transformation in their life. And they met you and they feel this very strong connection with you. But I feel like at the time they couldn't give you what you wanted. So I see a rebirth here. I see a new beginning. They're going to start by feeling it out here. So let's see what they're thinking or want to say to you. This is a, let's see here. I didn't reach out because I didn't know what to do. It was easier to be silent. I am feeling a whirlwind of emotions stuck in time. <laughs> yeah. Look at dollars. Either dollars is important to this person or they make a lot of money. They could have tattoos as well. Maybe they maybe they are a tattoo artist. Something had to give. It wasn't working. Yeah. So whatever happened, this person just felt like at the time... It wasn't working. They didn't feel stable or they didn't feel things were stable between the two of you. Okay. And that can be that tower energy. That's something um, had to give. That's what I call the tower. Something's got to give. Um, so something just wasn't working. And, you know, I feel unexpectedly it pulled you and this person apart. You also have here 222. Two, two. This is decisions and choices. How do we have harmony together? There is so much I want to say. So Virgo, I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out. A uh, link is in the comments and the description box. I will look at what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, guidance, and the next four weeks energy to see if you hear from this person. So I hope to see you there, Virgo. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.